The U.N. is investigating reports of sexual violence by Russian forces in Bucha and in other cities across Ukraine. Under international law, rape and sexual assault are considered war crimes. Molly Hunter now with a harrowing account from one woman accusing a Russian soldier of rape. 28-year-old Olena and her husband Sasha were living in Hostomel when the war started. In early March, while she was out looking for water, Olena was captured by Russian troops, she says, held hostage in a one-room apartment for two days. But it was about to get even worse. Starting the moment she was hit by a piece of burning metal shrapnel, that's Olena's day one. Can you describe the wound? She was in so much pain that on day two, by Olena's timeline, she went looking for first aid. Russian soldiers occupying her town said they could help. Olena is thin, with a slight build. We're not showing her full face. She and her husband were very poor even before the war broke out. They have a seven-year-old daughter, they tell me. She's with relatives. On Olena's day three, Russian soldiers offering medical aid again changed her bandages, she says. So now we're at day four. What happens day four? She tells us three different soldiers came to their house dressed in civilian clothes, saying they were there to help. She has no idea how they knew she was wounded. One of them, a Russian speaker, said he could take a look at her wound, she says, taking her upstairs. So she went back downstairs. Medics tell us her husband had at least one broken rib. And the following morning on day five, the soldier who had been upstairs with Olena returned. She made a run for it, arriving home in tears. Afraid the Russian soldiers might return, they fled to this area of Bucha, which is where we met them. Are you angry? Have you even had time to process? Molly Hunter, NBC News, Kyiv. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.